Well, hi everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I did a video, so I thought I might update you on my um, solar generator. I said in a previous video that I intended to put a DC DC charger on it. Well, I've done that, so I thought I might just show you how I wired it up. It's it's pretty simple stuff. There's a lot of this information on YouTube, but mine might be a little bit different. Uh, certainly the uh, solar generator is. So just before I run through the wiring, I'll just show you uh, my present setup and give you uh, an idea of how I, I'm powering this DC DC charger. Right, my present setup uh, in my van consists of a 30 amp DC DC booster charger that charges the main house battery shown here from the car's alternator. Near the bottom left with the flashing light is the solar regulator which controls the charging from the solar panels. As well as the 155 amp hour house battery, I have on the other side of the van a 100 amp hour standby battery which has its own independent solar charging. Now both batteries can be charged by the DC DC booster by simply turning this switch on. Now from the specs of the booster it is capable of uh, charging up to 400 amp hours size batteries and if I connect to my main house battery, my standby battery and my 100 amp hour solar generator battery the total amp hour capacity of the combined batteries would be 355 amp hours. I thought this might be a bit much so I decided to put in a new circuit and a new DC DC charger. Now the booster re receives its uh, power from the car's alternator through the battery uh, through heavy duty cables, through the voltage regulator and then it goes to the uh, rear of the vehicle and is connected to a Anderson plug which plugs into the caravan and powers the, uh, the booster. The new circuit will start here at the uh, voltage regulator and run into the boot. Uh, that's where the uh, solar genera generator will be located. It'll be connected by Anderson plugs. The negative lead will run back to the starter battery in the car. Uh, just a quick word on my solar generator. Well, as I explained in the uh, previous video, all my wiring's outside the box. And I did that de deliberately, uh, so if I have any shorts or problems with it, I don't have to go digging into the box to fix it. Uh, at presently, it's... Uh, charge from solar. It's a 100 amp hour battery uh, AGM and it has a 10 amp regulator. Now I went with a Renergy 20 amp DC DC charger and I've mounted it on the side of the, the box or the solar generator. Now it's got uh, inlet terminals here and I put Anderson plugs on these so that I can attach the solar generator when I want to and put it away and it's not fixed in one position and of course that's the inlet there I don't know if you can see that there's a salt there's a Anderson plug on the end of that too now this red wire here is a power source it needs power to run so um, it simply goes into the terminal there and the inlet here it's a pretty simple setup. Um, what I haven't got to show you is how I connect it to the battery, which I'll do that now. To charge the uh, battery from the DC DC charger, I've made up this uh, short lead. It's got a 30 amp fuse there. It simply plugs into the uh, DC DC charger here and plugs into this Anderson plug to the battery, and away we go. And of course, I've got that lead. The circuit I put in uh, at the back of the car, which will plug into this, into the back of the DC DC charger, and uh, hopefully it works. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but um, I'll put it in the boot of the car and start her up and, sh and see how she goes and let you know. Now, the battery's set up in its uh, home at the boot of the car. Uh, 
what I need to now do is to connect it to the circuit I put in, which is here. Plug it into the back of the DC DC charger and start the car up. And hopefully <laughs> it'll start charging. Mind you, the battery is fully charged, so it won't be putting too any amps in. So let's give it a go. The voltage is shot up to 14.32 volts. Uh, the battery was setting, sitting on 12.8, uh, so it was fully charged. And I would say that there's no amps going in. Now that's a float. Uh, no, that would be an absorption stage. Now the voltage is dropping down to 13.45. Four, six. That's the float stage, so the DC DC charge is doing its job. It's got the battery on float because as I said it was a fully charged battery. Okay, well that's the end of the video for this. Um, I don't think I'll be calling it a solar generator anymore. I think I'll just call it a battery box. <laughs> so anyway, I. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, it might have given you some ideas of if you're intending to do something like this. Uh, the only thing that um, I'm a bit concerned about is I've got the two circuits running off the same voltage regulator. I think it'll work. I won't be able to test the caravan booster out until I'm on the road because um, it's in storage at the moment. So I'll just... Um, play along with it but I think it'll work I can't see why two circuits can't run off the one voltage regulator anyway thanks for watching see you next time